All right, guys. So uh, today I'm going to be going over a little announcement. Um, I'm going to be featuring a channel called Card Shuffler 99. You guys have to check them out. Um, I saw the channel and they reached out to me asking if they could be on uh, this one here, and I said yes just because uh, their content's really great and I feel like they have a lot of potential here on YouTube. So make sure to check them out. Um, also, I did not post a video last week because I ended up hurting my finger. You guys can't see it right now, but what happened was it was kind of bad. Uh, it's just I couldn't really hold the cards. I didn't really want that being you know in the video uh, in that way. So. Anyway, guys, make sure to check them out. I am be posting a video uh, throughout the next week or so, hopefully getting back into them. But anyways, guys, here is the video. Make sure to check them out, and uh, here they are. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Card Shuffler ninety nine here. First of all, thank you so much to Hester for featuring us on your channel. We will be featuring Hester back on our channel as well, Card Shuffler ninety nine. So be sure to check out his video on our channel. Um, you can check us out if you like what you see here today. Be sure to subscribe to Card Shuffler ninety nine and share your support. Uh, we do daily uploads, live streams, giveaways, all that fun stuff, really. Um, so anyway, without wasting any time, let's get straight into the performance of this trick. Once again, thank you so much to Hester. Robert, do you have a phone I could borrow by any chance? Yeah, I got you. And can you open up the calculator app, please? Okay. Once you, you have that ready, I'll take it. Perfect. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to multiply a bunch of random numbers together that are going to be provided by you, okay? Okay. I don't want to have any influence on this, so Robert, please confirm that is your phone and that is your calculator. That's my phone, that is my calculator. Perfect. Robert, hold up the phone to the camera, please. What I want you to do is type in a random four-digit number. Make mm -hmm. sure you show the camera so they can see it. Mm -hmm. And now hit multiply. Multiply. Now set the phone down. I'm going to hand you the deck here, and what I want you to do, I don't want you to think that I'm forcing cards on you. So I want you to take the deck, take out any three cards you want. And we're going to type those cards in as one number, okay? So we're only taking the value here. Okay, so we got 3, 9, and 7, okay? What order do you want to type these in? 7, 3, 9. 7, 3, 9. Perfect. So we'll go, go ahead, you type it in. 7, 3, 9. 7, 3, 9. Now hit multiply again. And you can actually see the, the numbers are actually multiplying, Okay. And Robert, one last time, let's type in a random three-digit number. You can pick the number. Do it between 100 and 300. 100 and 300? Yeah, random three-digit number between 100 and 300. Go ahead, type that in for the camera. Let's go to... Now hit equals. Equals. And you can see we get a pretty big number. And I'm actually going to write this number down. Robert, can you hand me that post pad, please? Oh, yeah, I got you. All right. Here we go. I'm going to write the number down. So, Robert, if you could read the number out loud, please. Five. Five. Seven. 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 Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. 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 Three. Three. Please confirm that that is the right number. Five, seven, seven, three, four, five, six, 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 six three. three. Yep, that is. Make sure the camera sees both. They are correct, correct? Yep. Do we need Good. this anymore? We don't need your phone anymore. We don't need the deck anymore, actually. Now, for the first time, I'm actually going to reveal my prediction. It sat here on the table the entire time. You guys could see it here. I didn't touch it. I didn't move it. But you'd be surprised. My prediction skills are pretty good, and I actually could predict the right number. Three, two, one. Actually, Robert, you, you lift it up. It's an egg. It's an egg. Like that dramatic effect. But this isn't entirely my prediction. No, no, no. Let's see here. This, my friends, right here. This is my prediction. Robert, what are what are what are these? That's an eggshell. Eggshells. The, the, we don't need this. I'll eat that some other time. But this, my friends, is the prediction. Eggshells. And a lot of you might be thinking, what does eggshells have anything to do with this trick? Well, remember, Robert. What does it have to do? As a, I it's mean, a number. It seems weird, right? Because we did a calculator number trick, right? Yeah. And this is my prediction, eggshells. A lot of you might be wondering. Remember, you got to type in any random numbers you wanted, correct? Yeah. And we got to multiply. I didn't touch the calculator. You did all the work. Well, you'd be pretty surprised that this actually is a perfect prediction because if I take your number that we multiplied and I turn it upside down, it'll actually read eggshells and that, that is the trick e and anyway let's get straight to the tutorial 
Okay guys, so basically this is a pretty cool application trick for a really big calculator effect known as toxic, okay? So I know Hester did perform and reveal another calculator trick very similar to this, but this uses a different method. Um, when Hester did the multiplying, I, I know a lot, you know, I actually read the comments and I know a lot of you guys were saying, you know, one of the biggest concerns with Hester's method is the number always going to zero after you multiply the numbers. This method eliminates that. Okay, so this is not the same method as what Hester uses. This is known as toxic. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Now, you can do this. It works best with iPhone calculators. Now, a lot of you guys were saying Apple. you can't do this with um, Android phones. You but actually can. You can, right But here. you need a specific calculator, okay? The calculators, there are some calculators where if you type in like 5 plus 6, in the top, it'll actually read 5 plus 6. You don't want that, Okay. So if you have like one of those calculators that, you know, does all the calculations in a string and it actually shows you what's happening, you can't use that. So iPhone calculators work. This app right here on Android phones actually works. Real Calc Scientific Calculator. And that certain works. calculators like this will actually work. Now, you just need to make sure it doesn't multiply in a string and you should be good to go for the calculator, okay? So basically what I did here... This is a way, toxic is a calculator effect that allows you to force numbers, okay? So I'm going to come around and show you guys how you set this up. So, you guys can use the same um, kind of effect that we used. This number right here um, actually spells eggshells, okay? But you have to write, write it a certain way? Um, you don't necessarily have to write it a certain way, but I'm going to tell you guys there are a bunch of ways that you guys can perform this effect with the calculator. So... There's a bunch of ways. One way you can just have a written prediction. You can have this folded up in your pocket or you can show it on the table. Do the multiplying and then just show the number, you know, matched. You can do something like what we did where, you know, the number actually spells something upside down and you showed that as your prediction. Uh, you can do what Hester did where, you know, you force a card and the card has the, the number written on the card, okay? Or you can, you know, you can even force the individual cards. So you could force a five of hearts, a seven of diamonds, a seven of clubs, you know, a bunch of individual cards for the number if you wanted to. Now, this works for any number. So don't just think that you need to um, use the number that I'm supplying, okay? You can do this with any number. So you're going to take your calculator, and how are you going to do this? Um, all you're going to do is you're going to type in some, like, a series of calculations. So go ahead and type in your number. So five, seven, seven. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Six, six, three. 663. So you're going to type in your number and you're going to hit plus zero times zero and then you're going to hit the open bracket and that's your entire setup, okay? Now, this is a very clever trick is what this allows you to do is start multiplying numbers and it'll always go back to the original number you typed in. Now, perfect. It starts at zero. So let's say they say 965, right? You hit multiply, you multiply that by 69. You hit multiply again. It actually does the calculation at the top, right? You hit 96. Hit that. You hit 65478, right? You hit that. See, we already had a huge number, right? If you hit like 6 and then you hit equals, it just goes back to the original number. So I guess the best way I can kind of show this to you guys, if I take the number 3, I go plus 0 times 0, open bracket. So that's the setup. And then I just start typing in some random numbers and start multiplying it. Just like that. Look at those huge numbers. It just goes back to three. Okay? That's all you need to know. Now, you can do this. It works really well with a borrowed calculator. Now, you just have to make some excuse. A lot of people, what they like to do is um, they like to, you know, say they're taking a selfie on your phone. Um, some people just buy time while they're actually setting up the calculator. Okay? But once again, you don't have to use the same method. But... Once you know the calculator, you can do this any way you want. Um, from there, I just wrote it down. Now, if you guys are going to use eggshells for your performance technique, um, the way you write the 5, you want to write the 5 a little longer just so it looks more like an S. Uh, don't just write like a really square 5, I guess you could say. And it will spell eggshells. Now, there are a bunch of other numbers that will spell words upside down, so you guys can really you know play around with that method. Um, if you guys just want to write down a prediction that works well, this is a great trick. Now, be careful uh, because you don't want the number on the, um, the calculator to go above the prediction number. Um, so let's say, you know, this is your number, right? And you're multiplying a bunch of numbers. And let's say the number goes above that and then you still have to multiply more numbers. That's not good, okay? So be cautious as, you know, make sure you know what number you're putting in. 
and make sure you're smart about it, okay? Something I recommend doing, uh, make the numbers seem as random as possible. You can tell them, name me a random four digit. Then have them select random cards, you know, out of the deck and type that in. You know, find as many ways to get numbers. If you have like multiple spectators, ask them to each name one number. You know, do as many things as you can to get this trick to work um, at, you know, to the best of its ability, okay? Um, now, of course, you don't need to perform this with cards. Uh, we just know a lot of people prefer card tricks, so we tried to bring cards into this little effect. Um, if you guys are more into card tricks and you're not really into these big calculator tricks, still check out our channel. We primarily do card tricks on our channel anyway. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to Card Shuffler 99 uh, for daily uploads um, and quality tricks such as this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, thank you so much to Hester for featuring us. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Thank you guys so much, and peace out.